Hi there, this is a demo of our app Flivver, which was developed by Priyansh Ramnani, Vinay Kolwankar and me, Urmil Shroff. So Flivver is an app which helps you get rickshaws easily. This was a problem we as college students faced around our college every time when we wanted to go home. So we decided to develop an app to, ease, to help with the solution. So the app is available for Android and iOS on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. And this is how it looks like when you first launch it. So this is the onboarding screen, which tells you how to use the app and what it does. You can select a theme. So I'll go with light mode just now. And you give it permissions to access your location. So when the app loads, you can enter where you want to go. So let's say I want to go to church gate. I will just enter that and I click OK and then you swipe and mark your location. So once your location is marked, as you can see here, it says not enough riders. This is because when there are many riders in an area, it creates a sort of hotspot, uh, which is basically like a density graph to show the drivers where there are more people at a given time. So I can share the app, which I don't want to. Um, so as you can see, my location is marked over here. This blue thing is my marker. It says, this is my marker and I want to go to church gate. And also below it says no near, no riders near you. That's because currently there are, there is no one else. So if I just recenter, you can see on the whole map, there's no one else near me, but supposing I take another phone. So let's say this iPhone, as I said, it's available for Android and iOS. So. I can mark my location a second time using another phone, of course. And okay, at this time, I don't want to enter where I'm going just for privacy reasons. So it's optional and you can just press cancel and mark your location. So now, as you can see, there are two riders here. There are still not enough, it says. But there are two riders over here. Uh, so that's the blue one, which is from my previous Android phone. I mean, the blue one is my own and the green one is of my previous Android phone. As you can see, it's a nearby rider who wants to go to church gate. So there are two markers right now. Um, let's just mark a third one as well from another phone. This is the third time I'm going to mark my location using a third phone. And let's say I want to go to Grand Road. So now, as you can see, the location is marked. Uh, and now there are three riders in the same area. So it has created this hotspot. As you can see, there's this ring around here, which is basically like a hotspot, which the drivers can see on their app. So if you zoom in a lot, you can see the three different markers. That's just a rider near me. And this is my own marker. All right, so now let's take a look at what it looked like, what it looks like on the driver's app. So I just got a little pop up saying that there are enough riders near me because now there are three people near me. And so if I check out the driver's app, um, this is Flivver driver. As you can see, it's available in Hindi, English and Marathi. So whatever the driver prefers. It has an automatic dark mode based on the time of day. So once the app loads fully, you can see when you zoom in, you can see this big green marker. That's because there are a lot of riders there. If it's a small marker, like on the rider app, that means there are only one or two riders. But the idea is that the driver can see when he zooms out multiple markers and multiple arrows like this, which tell him where there are a lot of riders located. So if I just zoom into my location here, as you can see, if I keep zooming in a lot, the markers will eventually break up. So now the right, the driver can see individual riders. So if he clicks on this one, he can see this person is looking for a rickshaw, but he hasn't entered his destination. That was the iPhone. And this one you can see is going to church gate. 
and this one is going to Grand Road. So that way the driver can tap on any one of them, whichever rider he wants to pick up and just press this button to start the navigation in Google Maps. Or if he wants to, he can just directly go to the popular location, which was the big arrow. So he can just tap an arrow like this. That means there are a lot of people there and just click this and directly start navigating. So that is the driver's app and what he sees on his phone. Next is the chat feature. So if he, the driver supposing opens the chat, he, he can talk to all other users. So this is also the global chat in the rider app. So you can just say, supposing hi. And let's see what this looks like for riders. So if the rider clicks the chat button, he can enter his name. So, sorry. If the rider clicks the chat button, he can enter his name. So I'll type my name. And there are two sections, hotspot chat and global chat. So global chat, global chat allows users to talk to everyone. So all Flivr users can talk to each other here as well as with drivers. So as you can see, the message is showing there for the driver. And if I go back to the driver app, it's come over here. So riders can talk to drivers this way and using the hotspot chat functionality, riders can talk to others near them. So here it says chat with two others near you. That's because there were two others near me over here. So using the hotspot chat, you can discuss things such as carpooling with other nearby riders. So you can message something like, So on another person's phone, like this one, supposing if he clicks this, let's just enter a name, save. So this is what the two, the hotspot chat looks like. So on this phone, it says anyone wants to carpool and you can just say yes. Here you can see where the person wants to go as it says Urmil going to George Gate. So you can just say yes. And as you can see, the message has shown up over here and they can just, you know, end up carpooling with each other. So this is a basic demo of Flivr and how it works. As you can see, there's a light mode and a dark mode. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.